Isso. Thank you for the opportunity. I'll speak slowly, since I'm speaking in Portuguese, and I'd like to thank the French interpreter as well for organizing this. Sir, there is simultaneous interpretation. There is simultaneous interpretation. You don't need to do it this way. I am a senator from Brazil, and I am the chair of a parliamentary investigative committee. And we look at abuses against children. We investigate child pornography in Brazil. We're talking about an ill which takes place in an asset of humanity. We will never be rid of the Internet. We will never be free of the Internet. Technology is advancing on a daily basis and very quickly. But we need to understand that the Internet is not above good and bad. We're talking about something that's global, and the great Internet operators, the big Internet operators throughout the world, like Google, and which normally are providing services in their countries of origin, we have to remember that the great drama here is that there's an arrogance. Countries that are developing, such as Brazil, they come to our trees, and they don't fulfill a social role, actually. They come to our countries and provide a service, but they're servicing capital. Now, that's not terrible. If they come to create jobs, that's a good thing. But the problem is they come to our countries and they say, we're not going to abide by the laws in this country. Our company is based in America, so we're going to abide by laws in the United States, for example. And if the servers are in the developed countries, then we have two issues, two discussions. What happens with the developing countries? It's necessary for the large Internet operators to understand and realize that it is a wonderful asset for the world, but they need to realize that it's necessary to abide by the laws in which they are working. Three years ago, Brazil was discussing the crime of child pornography in the public ministry with the federal police, with state-level police, with other law enforcement and people who go to congresses and conferences throughout the world. And f for me, there's a sadness because in worldwide conferences, Internet discussions usually doesn't lead to anything substantial taking place in the country of origin. So let's see. We have a policy that's implemented in Brazil, the public ministry, and we have a parliamentary committee to investigate this, we have a judicial power, and Google was in Brazil and it had a certain behavior because it didn't have to abide by our laws, even though we had them on the books. They said that they were serving the disenfranchised. Now, we have to look at the other side of the Internet. You have the human being. You have the child that's being abused, the family that's suffering. And what we have to do is work with safe nets, safe internets. There are millions and millions and millions of children that get abused if nothing is done about this. The people who use this system, there's a relationship page. And a very large host, the other biggest host in the world is India, besides Brazil for these services. Now, as chair, chairman of the Parliamentary Committee on Investigating These Crimes, I'm calling upon Google to do something about this. It's up to them. It's their choice to help Brazil fight crime, and especially to fight child pornography in Brazil. 
they lied to us. They did not see. I have used my judicial powers and I convened them and I asked the federal police to go to the highest management of Google, that they should be in, come, come to our country and face the justice system. Now on that day, we broke 3,274,000 child pornography sites and another 20,000 with more than 10,000 child pornographers have been found who are circulating throughout the world on the internet. And in my hands, I have child pornographers from around the world who then have to be turned over to their respective countries. On the day that we seized these, the director of Google in Brazil, Dr. Alexander Cojaga, decided to 